Philippines are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. First electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging systems. On the greener power off-grid machine, it's very unique for the first time uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths. What if I told you this man has built vehicles that could run indefinitely without fuel or charging? The, 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 the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which had this radio frequencies converted into energy. As you know, radio frequencies they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say that less than a volt, they are just like nothing. But we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of the 70% of the components in the microsonic image, which I tell me to that design. So those are the components that map, that, that enable the, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy. And this is the first time in the world. And that his innovations are positioning Africa at the forefront of the next technological revolution. Meet Maxwell Chikambuzo, the Zimbabwean genius whose groundbreaking inventions are sending shockwaves through the global tech industry. This is the story of how one man's vision could transform not just transportation, but the entire way we think about energy itself. The year is 2024, and the world watches in amazement as Maxwell Chikambuzo demonstrates what many are calling the future of transportation. Standing next to his revolutionary electric vehicle, this humble inventor from Zimbabwe explains how his car operates on a principle that defies conventional understanding. No fuel, no charging stations, no external power source required. The energy comes directly from radio frequencies that surround us every day. Zimbabwe's president Emerson Menangagwa himself has endorsed Chikambuzo's technology, announcing plans to launch the Sayeth electric vehicle on February 10, 2025. The vehicle boasts unlimited driving range, a top speed of 220 km per hour, and autonomous driving capabilities. Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things, President Menangagwa declared. But Maxwell Chikambuzo's story isn't just about one invention, it's about proving that revolutionary innovation can emerge from anywhere, especially from a continent that's often overlooked in global technology conversations. Bored into humble beginnings in Harare, Zimbabwe, Maxwell Chikambuzo faced the same educational challenges that limit opportunities for millions of African children. At just 14 years old, circumstances forced him to leave formal education behind. But rather than seeing this as a limitation, Chikambuzo viewed it as freedom to pursue his true calling. From childhood, he possessed an insatiable curiosity about how things work, particularly electronic devices and energy systems. While other children played with toys, young Maxwell was dismantling radios, studying circuit boards, and dreaming of solutions to humanity's biggest challenges. His passion for sustainable energy wasn't just academic in a continent where energy poverty affects hundreds of millions of people. His work carries profound meaning. With no access to prestigious universities or billion-dollar research facilities, Chikambuzo became entirely self-taught. His laboratory wasn't equipped with the latest scientific instruments, it was a modest workshop where determination and ingenuity replaced expensive equipment. What he lacked in resources, he made up for with relentless curiosity and an unwavering belief that the impossible was simply undiscovered. His breakthrough came in 2009 when he invented what he calls the microenergy device. This revolutionary technology supposedly harnesses radio frequencies and converts them into usable electrical energy. Now. Radio waves surround us constantly from AM and FM radio to cell phone signals, Wi-Fi, and countless other transmissions. But these frequencies carry incredibly small amounts of energy, measured in nanovolts, making them seemingly useless for practical power generation. Chikambuzo claims to have solved this challenge by creating a device where 70% of the components are his own design. These custom-engineered components allegedly enable radio frequencies to be converted into substantial, usable energy for the first time in history. According to Chikambuzo, his device can harness these ambient radio waves and transform them into enough power to run vehicles, televisions, and other electronic devices indefinitely. But his micro-energy device is just the foundation. What Chikambuzo has built upon this technology reads like a catalog of tomorrow's innovations, each more impressive than the last. His first major creation was a cordless-powered television that operates without any external power source. 
This isn't a battery-powered device that eventually needs recharging according to Chikambuzo. This television runs indefinitely, drawing all its energy from radio frequencies in the environment. During public demonstrations, he's shown this television operating without being plugged into electricity, connected to solar panels, or drawing power from any visible source. This is the first in the world to have such technology where a television is powered with radio frequency, Chikambuzo explains. As you can see right now, I'm powering this television. You don't need to put it on electricity or solar panel or anything. But his television is just the beginning. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self-power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a we can call it a, a self-powered television. Chikambuzo's most ambitious creation is his self-powering electric vehicle. This represents a complete reimagining of transportation technology. While companies like Tesla focus on building better batteries and more efficient charging networks, Chikambuzo has supposedly eliminated the need for both. His approach isn't about building cars from scratch, it's about creating revolutionary power systems that can be integrated into existing vehicles. By installing his micro-energy device, conventional electric vehicles can supposedly be transformed into self-sustaining machines that never need external charging. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It gives you 15 kilowatts power to power your house and the vehicle itself just got 160 kilowatts electric motor. Imagine driving from Harare to Cape Town without stopping for fuel or finding a charging station. Imagine vehicles that become more environmentally beneficial the longer they operate, constantly removing radio frequency pollution from the environment while generating clean energy. The implications extend far beyond individual vehicles. Chikambuzo envisions his technology powering everything from household electronics to industrial equipment. Electric cars, televisions, computers, manufacturing plants, any device that currently requires external power could potentially operate indefinitely using his innovation. If verified, this technology wouldn't just position Africa as a leader in global innovation, it would fundamentally reshape the entire world economy the global energy market, worth over $7 trillion annually, would face unprecedented disruption. Oil companies that have dominated global energy for over a century would need to completely reimagine their business models. Tesla, currently the world's most valuable automaker, built its empire on advanced battery technology and charging infrastructure. But vehicles that never need charging would make much of Tesla's innovation obsolete overnight. Elon Musk's vision of a future powered by solar panels and battery storage would be challenged by technology that generates energy from sources we never considered viable. The revolutionary nature of Chikambuzo's work hasn't gone unnoticed by those in power. His technology has caught the attention of Zimbabwe's highest officials, including President Manangatwa, who has publicly praised the inventor's achievements. During a courtesy call, the president emphasized that Zimbabwe possesses the capability to lead global technological innovation. But with revolutionary technology come significant challenges. Chikambuzo's journey has been marked by tragedy and danger. He and his research partner, Dr. Teddy, were allegedly poisoned during their work. While Chikambuzo survived, Dr. Teddy died in January 2017. We were poisoned at that time, Chikambuzo recalls. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. The incident highlights the dangerous forces that can emerge when innovative technologies threaten established power structures. When trillions of dollars in existing industries face potential obsolescence, the stakes become extraordinarily high. Despite these challenges, Chikambuzo has received recognition and support from unexpected sources. American investors have reportedly offered him multi-million dollar deals to bring his technology to the United States. 
However, the 44-year-old inventor has reportedly declined these offers, choosing instead to develop his innovations within Africa and maintain control over his intellectual property. His caution reflects a deeper understanding of how revolutionary technologies from developing countries had historically been exploited by wealthy nations and corporations. By keeping his work in Zimbabwe, Chikambutso ensures that any economic benefits from his innovations will directly benefit African communities rather than enriching foreign entities. Chikambutso acknowledges that his technology challenges fundamental laws of physics, particularly the laws of thermodynamics. The vehicle uses what we call the microenergy device, he explains. It is the device that I personally invented in 2009 which harnesses radio frequencies and converts them into energy. This technology violates the laws of energy and thermodynamics. This isn't a small claim. The laws of thermodynamics are fundamental principles that govern all energy interactions in the universe. The first law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. If Chikambutso's device truly generates more usable energy than it consumes, it would require scientists to reconsider our basic understanding of how energy works. Rather than backing down from this implication, Chikambutso embraces it. Yes, it is working, but in doing that we have to relook everything. We have to dismantle everything, then we start afresh. He suggests that implementing his technology would require revising fundamental scientific principles and rebuilding our understanding of energy from the ground up. This brings us to one of the most significant challenges facing Chikambutso's work, patent protection. According to the inventor, patent offices have refused to approve his innovations because they allegedly violate established physical laws. Our technology was classified as a technology that violates some laws of physics because patent examiners are guided by natural laws, he explained. So they said you are violating the law of energy thermodynamics. This creates a complex situation. Without patents, Chikambutso cannot protect his intellectual property from theft or unauthorized reproduction. But the patent system itself refuses to recognize technologies that challenge fundamental scientific assumptions. It's a catch-22 that highlights broader challenges African inventors face in protecting their innovations on the global stage. The patent issue also reveals something important about how revolutionary technologies are treated by established systems. Patent offices, like scientific institutions, operate within existing frameworks of understanding. Truly revolutionary innovations that challenge these frameworks may not fit within established legal and regulatory structures. Despite these challenges, Chikambutso reports that his technology is advancing toward commercialization. Multiple sources indicate that universities and scientific institutions have begun certifying his innovations, providing independent validation of their potential. Plans for mass production and distribution are reportedly underway, with efforts to introduce his self-charging devices into various applications. We are in the commercial stage starting from tomorrow, Chikambuitza recently announced. We've got small machines. Most of them have been bought by people who came to visit. We've got buyers from DRC who bought some machines as well, right? Now we are in operation and whoever wants a machine can now get it. We've got our distributor here in Zimbabwe who is going to be handling all the sales. The move toward commercialization represents a critical phase for Chikambutso's work. Once his devices are in the hands of independent buyers and users, their performance can be evaluated objectively. This real-world testing will provide the clearest indication of whether his technology performs as promised. The broader implications of Chikambutso's work extend beyond energy and transportation. His story represents Africa's emergence as a serious player in global technological innovation. For too long, the continent has been viewed primarily as a consumer of technologies developed elsewhere rather than a source of breakthrough innovations. Chikambutsa's achievements challenge this perception. Here is an African inventor working with limited resources who claims to have solved challenges that have stumped scientists and engineers in the world's most advanced laboratory. Whether or not his specific technologies prove viable, his work demonstrates that revolutionary thinking and breakthrough innovation can emerge from anywhere. This has important implications for how the global technology community identifies and supports emerging innovations. Traditional systems for funding and developing new technologies are concentrated in wealthy countries and established institutions. Breakthrough innovations from developing regions may face additional barriers simply due to their geographic origin or the unconventional backgrounds of their career. Africa is home to over one. 3 billion people, including millions of brilliant minds who may lack access to formal education or traditional research resources but possess creativity and problem-solving abilities equal to anyone in the world. The continent's young population, growing internet connectivity, and increasing access to information create unprecedented opportunities for indigenous innovation. 
Chikambutso's work also highlights important questions about scientific orthodoxy and openness to revolutionary ideas. Throughout history, breakthrough discoveries have often faced resistance from established scientific communities. Revolutionary theories from Copernicus to Einstein initially encountered skepticism from experts who were committed to existing paradigms. The challenge lies in distinguishing between genuinely revolutionary discoveries and false claims. Science progresses by maintaining rigorous standards of evidence while remaining open to paradigm-shifting discoveries. This balance becomes particularly important when evaluating extraordinary claims from non-traditional sources. What makes Chikambutso's story particularly compelling is his apparent willingness to demonstrate his technology publicly and move toward commercial production. Unlike inventors who make extraordinary claims but refuse independent testing, Chikambutso appears confident in his innovations and ready to subject them to market validation. The global response to Chikambutso's work has been notably mixed. While he's received official recognition from Zimbabwe's government and interest from international investors, there's been limited response from major corporations or established scientific institutions. This could reflect skepticism about his claims, or it might indicate strategic caution from organizations that prefer to evaluate new technologies privately. What's clear is that Chikambutso has succeeded in capturing global attention and forcing conversations about energy innovation, African technological capacity, and the potential for breakthrough discoveries emerge from unexpected sources. Whether his specific technologies prove revolutionary or not, he's already achieved something significant by demonstrating Africa's innovative potential to the world. The story of Maxwell Chikambutso continues to unfold. As his technologies move toward commercial production and independent evaluation, we'll learn whether his extraordinary claims translate into world-changing innovations. But regardless of the ultimate outcome, his journey has already made important contributions. He's shown that revolutionary thinking isn't confined to prestigious universities or well-funded laboratory. He's demonstrated that Africa possesses the intellectual capacity to lead global technological innovation. And he's proven that sometimes the most important breakthroughs come from those who dare to imagine that the impossible might just be possible. In a world facing urgent challenges that require revolutionary solutions, from climate change to energy poverty to technological inequality, perhaps the most important lesson from Maxwell Chikambutso's story is that breakthrough innovations can emerge from anywhere. The next revolutionary technology might come from Silicon Valley, but it might just as easily come from Zimbabwe. As we watch Maxwell Chikambutso's remarkable journey continue, we're reminded that innovation knows no boundaries. The future belongs to those bold enough to challenge conventional wisdom and brave enough to pursue their vision despite skepticism and obstacles. Maxwell Chikambutso embodies this spirit, and his work represents the unlimited potential that exists when human creativity meets unwavering determination. Whether Maxwell Chikambutso proves to be one of history's greatest inventors or simply one of its most inspiring dreamers, his story will be remembered as a moment when Africa showed the world that revolutionary innovation can emerge from the most unexpected places, driven by minds that refuse to accept that the impossible cannot become...